buzzer gives me the shakes. I, I thought that was an electric chair. Uh, I Brad, I'm too high strung to go into that cell with those bunch of prisoners. I, I'm scared. Uh, if you want to investigate prison conditions, you'll have to find somebody else to live here. After all, dear, you're on the prison board, not me. I, I've looked at my marriage license several times, carefully, <laughs> and I definitely do not have to do it. But, Mrs. Stevens, I could tell the guard who you are. He would see that no harm came to you. You would be perfectly safe. Look, dear, look, dear, if you did, it would be a big favor for me. I, I, I want to give the prison board a thorough report. It was quite an honor to get this appointment, and, honey, I want to make a good showing. But Brad, anybody with half a brain would say no, so I'll say yes. <laughs> oh, thank you, lover. <laughs> Talbot. Now, let's see, I've got to make up some kind of a story, don't I, for the other prisoners. Uh, what kind of a criminal should I be? Do they have lady uh, pickpockets? <laughs> no, they wouldn't be a lady if they did that, would they? <laughs> I know, I'll be a female confidence man. Warden? <laughs> Talbot, this is Mrs. Stevens, Judge Stevens' wife. <clears throat> She's going to make an investigation of actual prison conditions. Get her a regular uniform, and you can assign her to any cell. Yes, sir. And Talbot, this is confidential. No one is to have an inkling of what is going on. I'll take care of everything, sir. Uh, this way, Mrs. Stevens, if you will, please. <laughs> you will come to see me, won't you, Brad? A uh, winter visiting days. Oh, uh, the third Wednesday of every month. There's no packages allowed and uh, no fruit. Uh, Joni! Brad, I'm getting the rules. Oh, oh honey, right. you'll only be gone a couple of hours. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, I hope they put me in a cell with a nice bunch of first offenders. I like those three-time losers, oh, Garth. You know what they've been? Yes, we'll take good care of you, Mr. Oh, thank you. You know, Warden, there's just one thing that, uh, well, that we haven't taken up. There have been some reports of, uh, bias and favoritism on part of some of the guards. I've already taken steps to correct that. We have an entirely new crew of guards ready to take over today. I see. So, your wife will be perfectly safe. You have no need to worry about it. Well, I'm not worried about my wife. I'm just worried about what she might do to those poor prisoners. <laughs> Hey, Midge, who are you getting dolled up for, the new guards? Well, there's no harm trying. I might find one that thinks I'm as tight. I'm sick and tired of getting pushed around. Don't worry. You won't be getting pushed around much longer. You mean we're getting ready to try the break? Ah! What do you want to do, blab it all over the whole jail? Maybe you need the quiet treatment. No, babe, no. I didn't mean to say anything. Nobody heard me, did they? Lucky for you, they didn't. And by this time, your tongue would be tied around your neck. Ah, pipe down. They're putting a new boy in the cage. Stand right there. Where's your new home, sticky fingers? <laughs> Look, we want no trouble out of you, or else. Or else, what are you gonna do? Arrest me? Put me in jail. Look, none of your lip. And we've counted all the bars in here, so don't try to take any with you when you leave. <laughs> if you ever do. Don't worry about me, General. <laughs> okay, you darn kleptomaniac, give. Just keeping in practice. Yeah, I see.
kleptomaniac. It's a sickness. It makes you steal things. Gee, if you're sick long enough, you can get rich. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You're nervous? Whatever gave you that idea? What's your name? Shirley. Shirley what? I tell you to rest when I get to know you better. Hey, I like a dame who knows when to dummy up. I'm a real dummy. <laughs> I run things around here. That's Midge, Thelma, and Rusty, and the rest of the slobs. Let me get you on. 603. Oh, 603? What's that? I don't know. I heard it on Dragnet. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay, just same as screwy. Another thing, how do we know she ain't a stool pigeon? Yeah, we can't be too careful. Hey, Shirley, you sure you ain't putting on an act for us? Of course not. If I was putting on an act, I'd put on a better one than this one. Well, I didn't. How do we know you're on the level? You don't know. You're just going to have to take me on my face value. Yeah? Well, okay. But if I find out you're a phony, that face of yours is gonna have no value at all. Mm. Well, thank you, Warden. Nothing would please me more than to be able to give the prison administration a clean bill of health. And I'm sure you will, Judge Stevens, as soon as you get your wife's report. <laughs> Judge, right. Warden, uh, Mrs. Stevens is in cell D in the West Wing, and her number is 5550. Good. Uh, yes, tell the new guard the situation and make sure that 5550 is given every consideration. Yes, sir. Thank you. Cell D in the West Wing. Cell D in the West Wing. Midge Martin is in there. She's a troublemaker. See that the new guard gives her plenty of hard work. Hard work. Yes, sir. Hard work is the only way to keep her out of trouble. Out of trouble. Yes, sir. Uh, now, sir. Hey, Midge. Yes, Shirley. You know, I think I like this little hideaway. The decor ain't bad at all. It ain't bad. So long as the guards don't hound you. They haven't given me a bad time. They think I'm a troublemaker. But I'm getting out of here as soon as I can. Come here. I'm going to show you something. Give me your hand. See this chisel? I made it out of a spoon. Clever. Where'd you get the spoon? Made it out of a fork. <laughs> Why'd you make this can opener out of it? Nothing. It was always a can opener. <laughs> well, you're all set to eat. All you gotta do is now is find some food. One of these days, we're gonna make a break. Yeah, if you could find a gun, you could make a knife out of it. <laughs> I'm working on that. Now, help me put the stuff back. Hey, I'm a mess. Me too. Let's wash up. Okay. Fanny, help Marge get the bed back. Come on, life will be easier for you. I doubt it. The old ones will tell the new ones that number 3888 is a bad one. Now, all the hard work on it. Hey, maybe you should have gotten an unlisted number. This is where we'll be. Now, the guards will be at the other end of the building. What about her? Cut it 
don't know if we can trust her. Yeah. We've been planning this break too long to take any chances. Ty, what are you doing? Writing a letter to the governor. Oh, I didn't know you knew the governor. He's a lovely man. You know, once he told me that... The governor told you what? How do you know the governor? Naturally, I met the governor when he gave me my pardon. A pardon for what? The whole works. Arsony, larceny, carceny. Carceny? Stealing cars. Carceny. I'm a safe cracker myself. <laughs> oh, I bet you could crack it with your bare hands. Beat it. We're busy. Yeah, busy. Go on. How's the food here? Just like the Waldorf. Oh, good. I love their salads. I'm looking forward to lunch. Uh, how the guards treat you? Just like we were relatives. Oh, inhuman treatment, eh? Hmm. Hey, what are you writing there? Nothing. I, I'm just making a few notes. I'm writing a book. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Well, let's see. Come on, girls. Oh, well, let's go. 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 What's going on? Troublemaker. Me? Didn't you see what they were doing? One guy in the horse. None of your lips, sister. <laughs> Maybe a little work will take some of that steam out of you. Get busy. Grab that bucket and mop up the place. Now, listen. Let me explain. Yeah? You see, I... Better get the bucket and mop up the place. And when you get through, make all the beds, wash the woodwork, and polish the floors. Now, listen. One word out of you, and I'll put you in solitary. What's the word? Is it something we see around the house every day? Air, chair, sink? <laughs> oh, you'd like to be in solitary. Get going with the mop. Five, 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 oh. Anything I can do for you, ma'am? Yeah, but you wouldn't do it. Anytime you'd like to leave, just let me know. Okay. <laughs> what did you say? I says, anytime you'd like to leave, just let me know. Well, right now. Okay. Come on, you! The one wants to talk to you! Boy, you're so stupid, I bet you couldn't even get yourself arrested. <laughs> Take that back. Hey, here comes the guard. Pipe down. Get over there and sit down. We might as well get started now. Oh. Ditch the mat. Oh. 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 with you, James. Oh. Oh. We're dying. Oh. Must have been something we ate. It's a lousy oh. food you feed us in here. Oh. Oh. What about you? the infirmary. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, how come she ain't sick? Well, you see, I'm oh, really not. Who says she ain't sick? <laughs> She's as sick as a dog, ain't she? <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess I better get you up there at that. <laughs> come on, let's go. Again, girls, I promise you. It better not. Come on, get out of bed. Some of this stuff will come in handy. Okay, safe cracker, open it up. Okay, babe. Now, 
scalpel. Scalpel. Sutures. Sutures. Sponge. Saw. when we lamb out of here, we'll do a little plastic surgery. And that means any of us. I sure hope I don't have to use this. Oh, so do I. I faint at the sight of blood, especially when it's mine. <laughs> Jiggers, jigger, the nurse is coming. Get back in bed. Hurry up. for my health. Where'd you get it? Uh, right over here. See? It's one of these. Jigger, jigger, they're coming again. All right. Get back in bed.
run. Get her down. Oh. 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 Joni. Oh, Brad, get me out of the spider web. Well, Joni, are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Get her down. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Where are you going? Well, I've been out for a spin. I think now I'll go fishing. Joni, what do you mean, fishing? Well, you see, Brad. I'm going in. What is it? Now. Don't get him in there, boy. Oh, Joni. Don't throw that little one back. Yes, I am sure nothing like this. Wait a minute. That one counts ten points. Oh, there's good fishing tonight. Now. What are you using for bait? Well, Martin, I think I caught the limit for today. Put them on ice. <laughs> Glad to get home. Let's get in quick before the neighbors see me in this prison outfit. Well, I'm giving you a full pardon, Miss Jailbird. You were a big help in digging out the true facts of my report. Oh, see, I just remembered. I haven't got my keys. That midge took it along with my clothes and my purse when she took it on the lamb. I mean, escape. Uh, well, look, dear, I'll, I'll use uh, use mine. <clears throat> yeah, boy, you know, I, I sure hope that they catch that midge. Oh, yeah, well, they'll, they'll catch him without any trouble. Don't worry. Well, I hope so. You know, it's not good for a crook like her to be going around with my clothes, my purse, and my keys. Hurry. I see what you mean. Come on, dear. Oh, I see. She stole everything but the kitchen sink. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> like that, she took that, too. Seen in tonight's cast were Marsha Mae Jones, Jack Kenny, Beatrice Maud, Mary Boyd, Dorothy Cluer, Jameson Shade, Bill Baldwin, Sylvia Stanton, Harriet Tarler. Furs by Lipsy Incorporated.